What is going on everybody? I am here with some more Far Cry 4. Last time, uh, we've rescued uh, the town of Banapur uh, from Pengamin's army that was under attack, if I made that sense correctly. But now, in this episode, uh, we are going to save the hostages that Sabal told us to do. And that's what uh, we are... That's what our mission is now. So that's what, we're go that's what we are going to do now. Now, this is the first uh, sequence or tutorial. This is a basic tutorial of saving hostages. Uh, throughout the game, uh, there will be side quests that uh, we will have to do uh, to save hostages and all that stuff. This is just, uh, I guess you could say, a, t a tutorial about it, if you want to call it that. Uh, of course, you do have to be stealthy on this one. Uh, if you don't, uh, Pagamin's, uh, men will find out who you are, and, uh, they will kill the hostages, and it will just be a game over. So you don't want that to happen. So you do want to be as stealthy as possible. So, of course, uh, using the, uh, using the, uh, crossbow is actually perfect for this one. So you do have to be kind of stealthy. Uh, there's one inside here, I believe. Uh, no, there's another one in here. I know there's one up top over there. Uh, I have up here. Got you. The hostages are safe, Sabal. You're doing your father's name proud, Ajay. This is what he wanted when he created the Golden Paths, to help his people. Look, I didn't come here for my father or any of this. We could still use your help, brother. Look at the difference you've made. I know, I'm asking a lot from you, but helping the Golden Path will take you to Lakshmana. I promise you that. We'll find it together. Thanks, Sabal. Hostage negotiation. Mission complete. Thank you very much. Ajay, it's Amita. I know that Sabal put you up to rescuing the hostages instead of taking back the outpost. It's okay. You're new here, and Sabal can be very persuasive. I just wanted to do my part. And I appreciate that, but you have to see the bigger picture. I was already making arrangements to deal with the outpost, but now I have to retask my fighters so they can protect the hostages you rescued. Protect them from what? Diplo. He doesn't like losing his playthings. Don't you see, Ajay? There was a plan, and now it's fallen apart. It will be a while before things with Diplo will blow over. Meanwhile, the enemy soldiers in that outpost will have plenty of time to dig in. Not if I can help it. Ajay, attacking that outpost on your own would be suicide. Wait until we can give you the proper support. I can do this, Amita. Ajay, don't... Incursion. Reach the outpost. Whoops. Ouch. Okay, so now we gotta reach the outpost. How far is it? Okay, it's not that far. Like I said, uh, the beginning of these games are the beginning of uh, this game is just a bunch of tutorials, seeing what uh, of what uh, you need to do and stuff. So it is uh, very annoying, but you're gonna need it to actually do it. Now, just like in Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 2, you need to take out some of these outposts. Now, uh, there is an elephant there that you could smash through and uh, release it so the guards will be distracted. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, um, where is it? Yeah, this is the this is the one you needed. Liberate two outputs without being detected. Without, without being detected. 
Um, so that is what we have to do. You want to get those out of the way now. So you don't have to deal with that later. Because as we get into further into the game. Um, so yeah, as we get further into the game. Uh, the, the outposts will be a, a lot harder to uh, liberate. What a moron. <laughs> wow, that enemy just walked himself into the fire. He's here and acting. Let's bring him down. Get in here. There's nothing here. I wish I had the boring arrow. God damn it. Okay, how am I going to do this? There is no way... Let's try. God damn it. I did it wrong. Jesus Christ. Was liberated. I know that I didn't uh, did it undetectedly. But what am I supposed to do? I couldn't do anything about that. First the hostages, then the outpost. You're not much of a listener, Ajay, but I have to admit, you've done a good job today. Thanks. It just felt like the right thing to do. Your mother would be proud. You want to reach, uh, what is it, Lakshmana? Mm. Getting there won't be easy. We lost the Lord to Pagan many years ago and we're struggling here in the south. I promised my mom I'd bring her ashes there. It was her dying wish. Think about it, Ajay. Your mother knew exactly what would happen once you showed up here in Kirat. The son of Mohan Kale returning to the war-torn land of his birth. <laughs> Ishwani was a smart woman. You being here and helping our cause is no accident. Stand with us, Ajay. Join the Golden Path, and I promise you, you will fulfill your mother's dying wish. Whether it was to spread her ashes at Lakshmana or to accomplish something greater. Did my parents really start the Golden Path? They did. Their goal was to free Kirat from Pagan's regime. Now you have a chance to help us finish the work they started. Just think about it, Ajay. Well, Mom, looks like we're staying. I 
Act 1 complete. Now that we've unlocked some skills. Did I actually do it? No. They will not be detected. I think two bells will not meant. Two bells without, will be, without being detected. Oh, great. Uh, but I mean, co op in this game. Uh, co op is uh, something that that's actually. Uh, I forgot to explain co op actually. Uh, co op is actually uh, something new that was implemented into Far Cry 4, which you could do uh, play with split screen or someone from online. But you have to complete. Uh, act one in order to unlock the uh, to unlock uh, co-op in the main game I believe I'm not too sure so now we gotta now that we're already here the first outpost nice and this is one of the propaganda posters. Like I said, you'll find propaganda posters and outposts, bell towers, and some abandoned abandoned houses and buildings and stuff. There's another collectible. Uh, I thought I'd never see you again. Oh. Yeah, unlock new weapons, stuff like that. Nice. Oh yeah, my um, bag is full. I need to sell some things. So this ah, oh, I forgot to say something about that old money, old flat, flat shirt, banking statement. Bank statement is a six-figure amount. In the Cayman Islands, just to Paul Harmon, 26 Pi, Coin Way, Madison. There are two references of Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 2 into the game. When you loot some of these, when you loot some of the items, or some of the miscellaneous items for you to sell. Uh, when we collect them, I'm going to see... The sewing kits and uh, just some money. Okay. Oh, over right here is another uh, side mission, side quest and stuff. Like I said, um, I'm not gonna do the side quests not yet until we unlocked a little bit of them. Make that into a separate video. Checks out to kick it ass, man. That's why I'm here. Because you and me together, Golden Path won't know what hit them right in their faces. We are the Golden Path, man. I do not understand what you are saying. I don't speak your language. I think what you meant to say is that uh, the Royal Army won't know what hit them. See, we're we're the Golden Path. Dude, seriously. These guys have been giving me a lot of stank eye over the things I've been saying about the Golden Path, so that makes sense. Okay, new plan then. Preemptive cavalry, that's right, you need help, you call, we swoop in and help you, me or my, uh, uh... Golden Path? Golden Path buddies, that's right. You and me, man, new and improved tap bros, that's right, living the dream, come on, punch it in. Boom! I went french fries, you stayed potato. That's all right. You kind of came in on the slow buzz, too, but you got there, so I got respect for that. I'm gonna see you around, though, okay? Okay! Let's roll, Golden Path, homie! Woo! Okay, then. Playing co-op. Now we finally unlocked uh, co-op now, which I'm not gonna be doing that. So now, uh... Yeah, uh, guns for higher tokens, which you could uh, hire, uh, quote unquote, hire 
uh, Golden Path uh, allies to uh, uh, complete karmas and stuff, destroy masks, and you know, buy them. Yeah, yeah, but I, don't, I know how to say that, all that kind of stuff. So that's actually pretty good. So we saw our good old friend Herc. You thought that he was gone in the last game, right? No way, he's back. So now we're gonna see him a little bit later. Uh, Herc is not part of the main story. As you can see, uh, Herc, Herc's missions uh, won't be playable yet until way later. It's just a side thing you can actually do. Like uh, in Far Cry 3, with Herc it's just a little bit of side mission and stuff. I would not want to walk in there right now. What are they arguing about? Pagan Min soldiers are about to attack one of our camps. Amida thinks our priority should be the information the fighters have gathered. Sabal thinks saving our people is more important. How long have they been at it? Long enough. The argument never changes and their positions never move. Look, I don't want to bother you, but you're Ajay Gale. Right? <laughs> Thank you for helping us. Everyone here appreciates it. I owe Golden Path for rescuing me, but honestly, I'm just... I'm just here to scatter my mother's ashes. Perhaps. But now you see what Pagan has done to this country. You are the son of Mohan Gale. Like it or not, your duty is Kirat. And your choices will carry weight. We need someone to break the stalemate between Amita and Sabal. Keep that in mind when you're in there. This is about lives. We don't act, people will die. This is about war. We need that intel. We're talking about soldiers we can use. Remember what you said about DARPA? And if I had a choice between Darpen and the intelligence, I choose the intel. <sighs> Choices: balance of power missions, which is which of course is the main mission in this game. Uh, the power of power. The Balance of power missions are critical to the Golden Path, but Amida and Sabal have different goals. Speak to both leaders and choose who to support. Choose your lead. Choose okay. your choice will lead to comp to a completely different mission. Uh, this will create new objectives and upcoming missions. Indicate the leader of the Golden Path until the next battle plan's mission. Okay, so now you can choose to support either Mita or Sabal. Uh, the choices that you make does, it is very critical depending on who you pick. Uh, of course, like you already heard, uh, Amita wants to collect the uh, uh, intel to see uh, the next attack for um, the people of Kira to prevent that. With Sabal, uh, he wants to save people and recruit them to the Golden Path to create more armies and more soldiers. So, uh, let's hear what Amita has to say first. Amita, I can get you that intel. Okay. We've been hearing of a major attack for a while and then Bonnebul was hit, but... It doesn't feel right. I think something big is coming and the intel could confirm that. But we haven't heard from the camp since the attack, so watch yourself, okay? Hunt or be hunted. The Balance of Power mission, Amida wants to retrieve intel from the nearby Golden Path camp. Accepting the mission will decline Sabal's mission. Uh, let's cancel that for now and listen what Sabal has to say. How can I help? One of our camps is about to get overrun. Don't know when, but it could get messy. I need to send them all the support I can. 
So if you want to help, get over there, brother. Rebel yell. The Bad's a power mission. Uh, Sabal wants to protect the rebels from the nearby, at the nearby Golden Path. The Golden Path camp. Except in Willis and Nita's. Okay, so basically their mission is perfectly, perfectly the same. Uh, she wants the intel from the Golden Path camp, and she wants to go us over there now and save the Golden Path camp. Um, I'm gonna choose uh, Amita's. I'm gonna choose uh, Amita's mission, hunt or be hunted, to get the intel, and uh, you will see why. Uh, first, you gotta get a vehicle. Uh, it's pretty far. Yeah, it's pretty far, so I'm gonna choose this, this vehicle. Now, this vehicle is actually very new into the Far Cry series. Which is a small little um, helicopter. It's actually very cool, and you could actually using this helicopter is a lot more easier uh, because um, it would get you to around higher mountains that you couldn't actually uh, get through before. But the problem is, is that using these, using this, is the example why. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Oh my god, that was so close. Oh my god, that was so lucky. I landed into the to the water. Oof. My god, that was too close. Um Yeah, I'm stuck here. So I gotta head back. God damn it. Oh my god, how lucky was that? I exited out instead of just ascending down. God damn it. Hopefully, uh, it will respawn back. I thought I'd never see you again. The hostage rescue, yes, I, I know that. I'll be doing those side missions a little bit later. Uh, let's just do this mission and then I'll just end it off. But hopefully, it's not here. Damn it. And the cars are not here, which is great. God damn it. Uh, I just need a car. Wait, there's a car back over there. Right here. Okay, perfect. There's a car over here. Can I change the driving in this thing? Driving controls. Classic, yes. Thank you. Okay, so now let's get. Now we gotta go to over here. For all this plight, Bagan men. Let's say it. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Bagan men. Get it? Yes. Elephant in the room. Sounds like a canton. Anna. Now, since we're on an unknown area, uh, we gotta hear um, the propaganda from Peng and Min. So, which is kind of exciting. Since we're in an unknown area, um, shoot, I don't know if I, I don't know what I want to do. Uh, do the radio tower, or go to I'm. You know what? I'm just gonna do the radio tower to open up the area a little bit, since we're getting further and further, a little bit more closer to the map. Oh yeah, over here are world cargoes. These world cargoes are very important. Uh, if you get detected by one, uh, it's gonna flee. 
Uh, you're not gonna be able to shoot it with just your regular guns. Uh, you gotta you gotta actually need a grenade launcher, which of course we don't have just yet until we actually unlock it. But unlocking that uh, grenade launcher will be very 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 important to it. And I'm gonna die. Of course, you could self heal. I know this is a little bit of change of plans instead of just going to uh, going to the mission, but that's going to take a little bit while. And I'm up to almost a half an hour mark, so I'm just going to do this radio tower and then just end the episode here. Or just end the session here and then come back later. Because I'm coming up to almost like an hour and a half now. Um, we can't, I believe we cannot enter through here. I think we gotta find somewhere else. If I'm not mistaken, I think we gotta go somewhere else. Yeah, I think. Oh no, we don't. Okay, we gotta shoot this. And just like in Far Cry 3, uh, it will be a little bit. It will be a little bit more difficult to um, unlock or to uh, find your way in into some radio towers or to the bell towers because some of them you have to like shoot locks or go around or go under like uh, tunnels and stuff because there will be one radio tower that you cannot access through to the front you have to find another way in so we'll get into it as we do what's this guy talking about Okay. A pagan min. I like that name. Pagan min. Hey, pagans like that. You're gonna hear that a lot, and that's very annoying. And to say one thing, like, I know I haven't been recording for a very, very, very long time uh, due to the fact that um, I was working temporarily in the summer, which I um, barely had enough to, you know, record and actually stream. So, uh, you know, once um, uh, the school year starts and everyone, everyone goes back to work, you know, I have the time to uh, record and stream some stuff. Finally, get back into the rhythm of recording stuff, so I'm happy about it, so. So let's hijack the signal. Nice. Now, we, since we unlocked the radar tower, we have uh, brand new side missions that we could uh, take on too. Now, here is an unlocation, discovered the locations and stuff like that. Oh yeah, this right here is actually very important. Throughout, uh, as we go unlocks. Um, as we unlock um, bell towers and stuff, you will see these question marks. These question marks are locations that uh, you can actually do and explore to gain a lot of experience points. Um, 
you don't have to worry about experiencing you know xp because you're going to be having that a lot and um of course to have experience points to uh unlock uh tokens so you so you know so you can upgrade and stuff upgrade abilities and stuff get abilities and um th that this is something that's new into uh the game so uh in order to uh find these locations you, you could actually buy the maps in the shops to actually see uh locations and stuff i think that's why uh ubisoft says that it's going to take more than 60 hours because you know you want to explore everything but you don't need to explore everything unless you're that type of person and uh going to these locations you will find uh collectibles and stuff that you could actually get so that's the yeah, that's the reasons why. So that's very very important if you actually do want to get a hundred percent. But uh, I think that's gonna be enough for this session now. Um, oh, we got skills. What do we get? What can we unlock? Let's unlock uh, this. We have at least five points that we could do. Um, harvesting. We could do that. Oh, harvesting. That's what. That's what, eh. Elephant rider. Uh, this is where you could ride elephants. This one is, uh, this one is kinda actually kind of useful. Uh, focus driving. Vehicles can take more damage before needing repairs. Um, loot takedown. Oh, this one's actually very important too. And uh, moving target. Move fire enemies while moving a body. Drag takedown. Oh, this one's actually very important. I kind of, I kind of actually gonna want that. Dragging, drag down, drag takedown is actually very important. After when you take down an enemy, you can actually move the bodies and hide them, instead of just taking it down with taking enemies down with a uh, melee weapon and leaving it there, and uh, eventually uh, the enemy is discovering it and exposing your yourself when you're being stealthy. So that's actually pretty good. The elephant rider, yes, the elephant, the elephant, the rider elephant is actually uh, very fun to do. Um, I'll demonstrate it sometime in, in this uh, playthrough or this walkthrough. So, yeah, so that's actually gonna be very fun. And over there, I think you could see. Oh, uh, let me see. I think one of the. Um, yeah, you you can see over there. That's one of the uh, fortresses there, I believe. So. That's what we're going to be taking out a little bit later, but I'll explain that as we get to it. So, like I said, um, I'm going to end it off. I'm, I'm going to end off this session here and uh, record again a little bit later. So, that's going to be enough of me for now. So, next time on Far Cry 4, we're going to be heading on towards the next mission and collect some of that intel. Until next time.